Winning the Manning Innovation Award is perhaps the best feeling I've had in a long time. I get a very positive feeling from seeing the patients benefit, but to know that it's recognized across Canada is just a, a great feeling. It's a wonderful thing. The big problem with burns and wound treatment is controlling infection. Dr. Robert Burrell set out to solve this problem. The use of silver in wound care goes back to the 1800s. It's our oldest directed antimicrobial agent. During recent years, the use of silver was fine-tuned to treat wounds, but many problems persisted. Dr. Burrell set out to find a better way to control the healing properties of silver and developed a new method of releasing it over time to eliminate the need for frequent wound dressing changes. Dr. Robert Burrell, recipient of the $100,000 in Canna Principal Award. What we wanted to do was reduce the total amount of silver but make it far more effective. To do that, we used a chamber such as the one behind me to create nanostructured materials which give us a controlled release of silver. When we created the nanostructured material, we did change the delivery characteristics. We changed the antimicrobial activity, but then serendipity shone down on us and we actually changed the character of the wound by changing the inflammatory process. So this new form of silver has a tremendous anti-inflammatory activity. So while we thought we knew something about silver, this innovation has actually changed our image of how silver can work in healthcare. This innovation is, is so unique and so original that it has really transformed the development of uh, wound treatment. Uh, this particular innovation of developing nanocrystalline silver uh, for use in wounds is really the first medical use of nanotechnologies. In the chamber behind me, we put bulk silver in, a silver plate. We pump the air out, we put a little bit of argon in, and we disassemble that bulk piece of silver. And we reassemble it under controlled conditions to give us this coating. You would put this on a wound, moisten it, and the wound would start to heal. The benefits to the patient are improved outcomes, so less scarring. We're seeing less time in the hospital. We're seeing fewer dressing changes, which are quite painful for uh, burn patients. We're seeing chronic wounds that are treated once a week rather than every day. It's a very satisfying feeling to know that you've done something very remarkable for these people uh, who are suffering greatly. And in many cases have been literally, literally given their lives back. Around the world, the impact for sales and distribution is quite strong. There's over 40 countries where Smith & Nephew delivers the product. And we've had, since inception, 17 million dressings produced. And that's resulted in annual sales of 60 to $80 million. I mean, many people have the opportunity to change the bottom line of a company. Very few people have a chance to change the outcomes of people's lives. I'm lucky to be part of that latter group. To receive the Manning Innovation Award is a tremendous honor for me. It's a humbling experience. Uh, to put it in the words of one of our external reviewers, the development of nanocrystalline silver wound dressings for uh, the treatment of, of wound care is as revolutionary as the development of penicillin was in the 1940s for the treatment of infectious diseases. Cannot really think of any more deserving candidate for the Manning Innovation Award than Dr. Rob Burrell.